Hi, and welcome to this tutorial, where we will walk through how to install and configure eGit in STM32 Cube IDE. eGit is an integration of Git, a widely used version control system that helps you track changes in your co collaborate with others and manage different versions of your project. In this video, we'll go through step by step and to show you how to install the eGit plugin, set it up and connect it to your Git repository, making version control easier and more efficient. So let's get started. So to install eGit, we go to Help and Eclipse Marketplace. And then we go under the search bar and then we just type eGit. And this is the one that we are looking for, eGit, Git integration for Eclipse in the version currently 6.7.0. So we just hit install and confirm the installation. When the installation is done, uh, we need to relaunch the STM32 Cube IDE to be launched with the correct uh, plugins. Okay, so STM32 Cube ID have rebooted and what we need now then try to do is to get hold of or get a grasp of what we are talking about. Uh, we have three different things that we will be talking about. We have the workspace, the project workspace, and that is the workspace that I just created. A, you didn't see that, but I created a fresh one uh, and that is a local file structure on, on your computer where you host all your uh, projects that you work currently working on and you can have several workspaces so I just created an empty one for this demo then you have repositories and you have a local git repository that uh, you host on your hard drive under your username and you also have several of git repositories on github where you can upload and download, and uh, that is what we will also to be looking at. So we have external Git repositories, and we have a local one, and we have the workspace. So what we are now going to do, we are going to click Window and Show View, and then we go under Other. Then we have a new folder here called Git, and then we will hit this Git repositories, Open. So we will now get this uh, tab here, Git repositories. And currently there is nothing. There is nothing uh, that we have hooked up on, on remotely and we don't have any local one either. So if we now then go to GitHub to see what we are going to uh, connect to. Uh, this is my GitHub page. Uh, so this page has a URL and you click on the code because then you get the, the URL there. So we keep uh, copy that one and uh, we go back here because that is the repository that I would like to have as remote. So I click this one, clone a Git repository. And this uh, URL is the one that we found here. So when you just Latin, it will uh, populate this information as well. Then you need to also be a user, a Git user. So if you haven't an account on Git, you need to create it. Uh, but you you need to have that. So I will put, paste in my uh, credentials. So now I have created or uh, just pasted in my credentials and. Before we do something else, I think that we should maybe take a look on on my on my local place where the, I will have my local Git repository. So if we now take a look at the user, my surname, and under Git, there is only this repository, and that is for uh, NXP microcontroller. So we won't fiddle with that now. But uh, when we're done, there will be a new directory called STM32 here. So we go with next. 
and it asks for which branch, which uh, the main branch, we just hit next. Then it says which directory do we have want to have our local copy of the Git repository. And that is the one that I have here. So if we can have both on, on page at the same time. And now when I just hit finish, you see down here it says cloning from and it's populating this, so it created this uh, fi file structure under STM32. And if we open now, it's done. If we open the file structure here, and we compare it to how it looks on, on GitHub. So this is the remote repository that is on GitHub, and this is the local repository on my uh, computer. And you can also see here on Git repositories that you have now a working tree and it's under C uses my surname Git and STM32. And there we have all the projects. So this was how to install Git. And in the coming video, I will show how to get the projects that are now in the local Git into your uh, workspace and where you can work on it and then uh, you can upload uh, or commit the changes to GitHub. So, hope you found it interesting and uh, stay tuned for the next video to come. Bye!